Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of March 20th, 2017. First day of spring, although it doesn't feel like it today. Um, thank you guys for leaving me comments and sending me messages. I really appreciate that. I also appreciate if you will take the time to like, share, and subscribe. If you're looking for a personal reading, please contact me on my website. It is www.ms-swami.com. First thing I'm picking up on Capricorn, work and career. You are completely overwhelmed. Uh, you're very busy. It's a very busy time. It does show you have the strength to get through it. But um, something's shifting in your career there. Um, also, on the personal front, it just looks like that there's a little bit of a disappointment there that, you know what they say, all that glitters is not gold. Something that you thought was going to be looks like it's not going to transpire. Um, other than that, there's some new mon money coming in, and for some of you, I do see a lot of music venues, so that's a good way to relax. So let's take a look. This is for Capricorn for the week of March 20th, 2017. Capricorn, we start with the Two of Cups, followed by a Major Arcana of the Lovers, followed by the Hangman, the Five of Swords, Major Arcana of the Wheel of Fortune, and a Major Arcana of the Tower. So let me break this down for you guys. Um, first of all, I want to go back to say, and I'll, I'll pull you three more, but um, first of all, I want to go back to say that a lot of this is hitting heavy in the personal life and for a lot of you in the love life. So what we're seeing here is a happy union and things are going well. And of course, this is affecting the love life. But this is where I'm talking about that all the glitters is not gold. What you thought was going to materialize, I am seeing a delay, okay? And Capricorn, I know you guys don't like delays because it's reflected in the next set of cards here. We have the Five of Swords. This is where you are defensive. And it may feel that you're being attacked or maybe your character is being attacked. Even though I don't see it as actually being that way, that just shows your defensive is abnormally high. You're waiting to see which way things are going, and there is a confrontation. I'm just being totally honest on what we're looking at here. Uh, the tower does show that there is a confrontation, and for the vast majority of you, this is in your personal life. Moving forward, we have the Ace of Swords. We have the High Priestess. And then we have a major arcana, the full. <clears throat> so we're looking at new beginnings. So what we're looking at is this confrontation is going to leave you to new beginnings, but there is a delay attached and the warning of foolish decisions. Now I'm going to give you one more. This guy's indicates a happy ending. I mean, there is a celebration at hand. It's just, I think you've got your expectations set on something that is just not going to materialize for you at this given time. And and sometimes when we get disappointing news, we, we react and we react in haste. And that's what I'm seeing with the fool here. So let's look at your major arcanas for the week because you guys have got some significant things that you need to know. Okay. The lovers and the hangman. Okay. We have that to indicate that something may not be exactly to your standards or what you hoped. The Wheel of Fortune, where you're wondering which things are going. I do see a confrontation. There's no easy way to say that. There is a delay of plans. And guys, your warning for this week. The Fool. And if you take a look at that card, you see he's very close to stepping off the edge. So just be mindful of your decisions this week. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.